Welcome to the Third Wind channel, where today we're doing our weekly Q&A following the fifth episode of the second season of iCarly. We got some of my questions and we got some viewer questions. Let's get straight into it. Our first question is, how long will Pearl last in the series? So, I've seen comments ranging from one episode to 20 to forever, I don't know. Uh, in terms of what I think, I think Pearl will last out this season into early next season and then she will be gone. So, I'm predicting some kind of maybe cliffhanger with uh, Freddy having to choose between Carly and Pearl. Because, I mean, in the end, I think most of us do think that Freddy's gonna end up with Carly, meaning that Pearl isn't a permanent fixture. She feels a bit of, she feels like a Wes for Freddy this season. You know, Wes stuck around for a while. So, something like that. But uh, people are really divided on with if they like Pearl or not. I've seen so many different comments. But I think she'll last until early next season. Next up, will Freddy's mom accept Pearl? We kind of saw this answered in the last episode, episode 5, but not really. She was still a little bit angered by her. I think she'll come to accept her, but we'll, we'll probably still get some snarky comments from her. So, yes, I do think she's going to accept her. And then right when she accepts her, then Carly comes in. I don't know. I'm just making a joke. Next up, will we see McKenna again? So, I'm going to give a very similar answer to what I've given so far to just about every guest we've had on the show, which is... They only appear in one episode usually. Grandpa Shay, uh, Neville, Chuck, all these guests, they appear one time, a uh, Principal Franklin, and then they never appear again. So McKenna being as small of a character as she is, I don't think she'll appear again. Unless she ends up being some kind of girlfriend to Spencer, but I doubt it. She's a celebrity, blah, blah, blah. Moving on, where are Freddy's feelings at right now? Looking at this picture, you can see a lot of things are going on. I think that Freddy, at the beginning of the episode, it really did look like he was in some kind of honeymoon, or not honeymoon phase, but he, he was looking pretty lovey-dovey. He was looking pretty in, in love with um, Pearl, to the point that where he had to pull Millicent aside to be more polite with her, and standing up to his mom. So I really do think that his feelings are with Pearl. There is that scene at the end where he does, like, people are commenting, oh, this is a sign that he doesn't actually like Pearl as much after some events. But I think that it's, that's not really true. I do think that he really likes Pearl. He was ready to move in with her after all. So, uh, let's flip the script. How is Carly feeling here? So, uh, I wouldn't jump straight to Carly having feelings for Freddy or anything like that. But I will say from experience, ex experience that... Friends can get jealous too. If you're one of your best friends starts spending so much time with someone else, then you can get jealous. I think that that might be what's going on here. She's just kind of not used to seeing Freddy attached to someone else, kind of not giving her, her all of his attention. And I think also seeing him change his habits for a girl, like not eating, eating his banana weird and not eating popcorn. These small things, I think, are affecting her a little bit. I don't think that means that she has feelings or anything. So... Yeah, something like that. Not quite there yet, but I do get the sense that with more time, Freddy will realize how much she misses... Um, Carly will miss, realize how much she misses Freddy in a more romantic sense, maybe. Because, you know, they have a past. Moving on, is Harper going to get a new job? So, where this question comes from for me is at the end of the episode, we see Harper on TV, uh, where she stars in the... What is it called? Code Red Flags. Could this spark... Some kind of new career for her. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but something to think about. Since uh, she's got a lot of time off being Duchess stylist. And she's not working at Skybucks. Maybe she'll get something new. Maybe this will spark a new gig. Who knows. We'll see. Uh, next up. How long. And by the way. Answer any of the questions I'm throwing out here in the comments. If you guys have a different answer. Uh, how long until Spencer finds a new romantic interest. So. We've had a few already. I guess. Mm, we haven't had any that really have lasted long in, in either of the shows. In the original, any no relationships really lasted that long other than like Seti, uh, for any characters really. So when will Spencer find a romantic interest? I do feel like they're going to go with the route where Spencer does find someone, like a new character, maybe in season 3 or 4 or how, however long the show goes. Because, you know, he's getting older. And we've seen the thing with Spencer having one night stands for the longest time. So it is about time, I think. Uh, this is this episode kind of foreshadows the fact that he's had so many of those. And now maybe he does want to settle for something more serious. So I think we'll see it next season, if we get a third season. Um, yeah. Next, is Freddy rich? 
So this comes from, you know, him uh, ready to buy a luxury apartment and pays mom's rent, all this. And uh, it must mean that there's some time has passed and this app is doing quite well. But is he rich? Eh, maybe, maybe, maybe he's comfortable now, but he's not. I, I bet you he's not rich, rich. Uh, but with time, we'll see how this app does. For some reason, I just see it crashing and burning at some point. I don't know why. Uh, I just feel like it, it, it would be hard to make it so that Freddy and Spencer are off incredibly well. It just doesn't make much sense for me. But is he rich right now? Yeah, maybe. Next off, let's get into viewer questions. Uh, you guys gave me some great questions this week, so I'm going to go through them. Uh, first of all, uh, do you think at the, at the end of the episode when Spencer was offering Freddy and Pearl popcorn and Pearl said we're good, do you think that that bothered Carly? So if you saw that picture from a few uh, a little bit ago, you could definitely see that it bothered, bothered her a little bit. I did talk about it a little bit in the one of the, my, my questions. Uh, and I do think that she got a little bit jealous, maybe not romantically, but as a friend. And a bit weirded out by it, for sure. Because the gang had always eaten popcorn in the original. That was kind of their thing. So, um, yeah, I think it bothered her a little bit. Next, I wonder if Car uh, Harper's dating anyone. Uh, he mentions, uh, Swaggy Jack mentions uh, that there was a girl... But if, if you watch the series long enough, you know that Harper meets a lot of people who we never see again. And this is kind of Harper's thing. She has a lot of uh, these one night stands, I guess, and a lot of, you know, very uh, flirtatious and all that. Uh, but it, it, I don't think she's looking for anything serious, especially after what we saw with Double Dutch. So she's just kind of having fun. So uh, we are not going to I don't think Harper is looking for a girlfriend or will have one anytime soon. Uh, next. Also, uh, there was a mention about um, Carly saying most of our friends in the, living in this apartment, which I thought was really clever from Ryan. Uh, I had forgotten to mention that in my review. But the question is, do you think that Freddy is somewhat developing a feeling for Carly at this point? And I think Freddy is doing the opposite of that. I think that he's kind of realizing, you know, Carly hasn't reciprocated for so long that uh or you know it was in the past so i mean what's i i tried for so long kind of moved on from it I, and he's found this new girl i don't think he's really thinking much about her you know what after that first episode i you know i'm not sure a some time has passed since that first episode i think that he's developing feelings for pearl at the moment but i think that that can reverse when carly confronts him about it uh but right now i don't think so i think he was and now he's less doing so. I don't know. Something like that. Next up, uh, Oscar Neiman mentions... Uh, well, basically his question is... Uh, I was saying something about uh, Carly getting shamed so often in the revival. And then Oscar mentions that maybe... maybe Are we going to see another episode where Nora traps the gang? And I did just mention how our guests come for one episode and then never appear again. But I really do think uh, they could get Nora for another... Uh, something, some kind of finale, like a season three finale where they capture the gang again. I really, really think that they've considered that. I think we're going to see it. If there's another season, I, I bet you this is a real possibility. I think it could happen, especially with their great connections with uh, Nora's actress and, um, and Lubert, her real life husband. Uh, so I think that we can definitely see something like that next season. Moving on. Um... So, two questions here. Uh, I wonder if Freddy's previous partners really dealt with Miss Benson this way. So, basically, uh, how, how have uh, Freddy's exes dealt with Miss Benson? I'm sure they didn't deal with her as well as Pearl, and it must be so difficult. Uh, if I were Freddy, I wouldn't, I wouldn't introduce uh, them to, uh, to Miss Benson until much later. But I guess it's hard to hide that from Miss Benson with all the tracking devices. Uh, but, um... I think that Pearl's dealing with her great, but have previous partners dealt with this? I'm sure that m could have even been a reason why things ended. Uh, so I think definitely. And the second question is, uh, does anyone actually eat bananas like this? Or do I just live somewhere where people don't? And I let me tell you, Jen, no one eats bananas like this. Uh, it was funny, but no one eats bananas like that. It was weird. It's really weird. Uh, but yeah. Lastly, I'll mention that I did another... You know, I'll make this a weekly thing. I... Posted a poll, uh, to ask what people thought of episode five, season two, uh, the, the episode I Cupid, of course, and uh, the poll has so far received 193 votes, which is a good amount, 
And it seems like overwhelmingly people are saying this was a great episode. So not their favorite, uh, which yeah, I, I'd agree with, but it was a, saying it was a great episode. So uh, in case you were curious, uh, those are the results. And uh, moving on, yeah, that has been our weekly Q&A. Of course, always drop your questions along uh, this week. I'll be making more iCarly uh, content, including a predictions video for iCarly, as long as uh, along with some other fun stuff. But uh, always drop your questions. Uh, you might get featured in the next Q&A. But I'll see you guys very soon tomorrow with more uh, content from the Third Wind channel. Uh, and yeah, uh, just throw any comments down there, any questions. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon. This has been fun. See you tomorrow.